Yo, what's going on guys, my name's Friendly Machine, and today I'm back with the 7th episode of Chem Strike Saturdays, and this time I'm using the SC2010, and I've got that beautiful nebula camo on it, baby, <laughs> yeah, I really, I really like this camo, it's like, uh, my favourite camo in any Call of Duty, because it kind of reminds me of the Spectrum camo, that I'm never going to be able to see, because I don't own an Xbox One or an Xbox 360, so, every time I have this camo on, I'm just going to, like, cry myself to sleep at night, kind of, no, I'm joking, but, basically, what we've got going on here is, Great again, I know, but yeah, it's it's a different gun, and I actually end up going on quite a bit of a clutch here because a lot of enemies are just trying to pin me down, and I'm just like, no, I'm not having that. And this is like, so like you see there, there's a kid with a right shield. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing, kid? <laughs> but anyways, what I actually wanted to talk about today as well was were the next gen consoles worth getting this early? I mean, I've got a lot of friends, and this is where this like topic spurred up from. But I've got a lot of friends who actually have gone back to the PS3 because they can't possibly wait any longer for any games to come out on PS4 because they're getting so mad with ghosts because they're like, I don't know, lag and you, the fact that you die so easy and it plays so different to every other Call of Duty. But in my opinion, Ghost is okay only when you have good connection because, oh my god, the Strike Zone 24 7 playlist has just come out and I am absolutely awful at it when I play with my American friends like YouTubers and stuff and I'm playing with them and I'm like lagging. I have to be shooting around the corner to kill someone and I find that like really unfair. And I thought that wouldn't be the case in next gen consoles really because next gen consoles should be like, they should have brought all that out of it because everyone hates lag right? So they should have they should have just took all the bad things about the consoles out and then you know tried to refine like how games were and the graphics and everything before before they fixed everything, but they didn't, they just added the graphics and I'm still lagging like a little bitch, so that's not very good is it now? But this chem strike, it's not actually very fast, it's like a five minute chem strike, and I really like this spot on this map to be honest, because you, if they're spawning behind the white house that I'm at, called white, like it's like a call out white, um, you can just like do whatever you want, you can either trick them and go behind, or you can actually just go through and kill everyone like you're slaying some bitches down but back onto the topic of were the next gen consoles worth it a lot of people i've actually heard of a lot of other people that they'd rather spend 700 pounds or 700 dollars on something that was actually like refined throughout the whole console system like no lag really smooth even better graphics even though i think the graphics are better and personally i think the next gen consoles were worth it because you know, it gives us a better chance to actually play with some better players because all the better players will be wanting to. I'm not saying the players on like other consoles are bad, but all the better players, if you think about it, will want to put in the money and the time to get in the best gaming experience they can. Uh, I don't know if that involves PC because that's just like apparently PC is above all consoles, but it's it's kind of a big argument really because a lot of my friends have just gone back to PS3 just because of the games and they've only had the like next gen console for like a month and I'm like what? <laughs> why, are you, why are you going back already? Like wh what's the point? You just wait for some games. I mean we've got Ghost right so if, you, if you're a big Call of Duty fan that's it's fine for me. I mean it'll, it'll do me until the end of the year to be honest. I could just keep having a console that I could just keep buying the latest Call of Duty on but for some people apparently it's not the case and then people like wait for new games and they look at the release dates and then they get disappointed that they're going to be delayed I mean I have a few friends who are like oh Minecraft's coming out this month in the summer holidays in August and I'm like no no it's not it'll get delayed I guarantee you because Mojang always delay it for like bugs and stuff and guess what they did it's coming out in September now but anyways I hope you enjoyed me ranting about that I'm just going to skip about nine minutes in here to where I actually call in the chem strike because I've just got it then and oh dear did you see how I just died Oh my god, that was bad. Support squad mate, take him out of the game. That's another thing they should have took out in the update, well not the update, the next gen console update version of the console because they were just, they were just awful. And look, that's just my look right there. Five of the enemies leave the game. I've been having this curse recently where everyone leaves the game as I call in the chem strike. I don't know if it's just because they're jelly or I don't know if it's just because they're mad. Oh, I don't know if it's just because they don't want to be humiliated by getting chem strike by a solo player, who knows, but... I hope you enjoyed that episode of Chem Strike Saturday, guys. It might have been a bit shorter than usual. And let me know down in the comment section below, do you think the next-gen consoles are worth it just yet, or would you prefer to wait until some other games are out? Or have you got both consoles where you go back on PS3 or play it more than PS4 because it has more games? Or just let me know, even if you like just play Ghost like me and don't really care about what anyone says anyway, because I honestly can't understand what's wrong with them. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, I guess.
Peace out.